parabolic path of action. So when uh, an object's moving and gravity is the only significant force that's uh, affecting the motion, then the path of action is a parabolic arc. Now this uh, is a very common uh, situation, so something as simple as a ball thrown into the air or bouncing along. Um, as it's flying through the air, the uh, path of action is a parabolic arc. Uh, another simple example, a stream of water um, going through the air, then that's also a parabolic arc. You can see that by overlaying those two. Now, the motion on a parabolic arc is actually uh, fairly simple. So let's think about this example of a ball that's rolling on a table and it rolls off the table. If there was no gravity, then the ball would just keep rolling with a constant uniform velocity. Uh, and so the spacings would just stay uniform if there was um, no gravity. But because of gravity, as soon as the ball uh, leaves the table, it starts falling, and that falling motion, it's uh, slowing out, and so the spacings uh, get larger in the vertical uh, direction. Now, it turns out that uh, this falling motion is uh, just um, adding a constant uh, horizontal spacings to the same um, slowing out uh, vertical spacings that we have for simple falling. So, for example, the uh, we can use the odd rule, which was discussed in another tutorial for simple falling, and that tells us the spacings as something falls. Let's uh, just look at a video of that. So, there you see that. Uh, now, if we go and uh, do some video tracking uh, of the position of the ball on each frame in that video, uh, you see that the horse marking here the uh, position of the ball and looking at the uh, horizontal spacings, uh, basically uh, they stay constant. Uh, the ball, as soon as it leaves the table, the vertical spacings um, slow out. Uh, here's um, another example that uh, demonstrates this. So uh, you'll see a uh, video here in a moment where uh, I'm going to uh, pull this trigger. When I pull this trigger, the spring uh, will thrust this rod and the ball on the right side will be fired off horizontally. Simultaneously, uh, the, when the rod is uh, fired to the right, it will release this uh, second ball that's on the left, and that one will simply fall straight down. Now, it all happens rather quick, so listen to uh, when they hit the ground. So in that um, video, what's happening is one of the balls is falling straight down, the other one is uh, fired, and uh, the one that's fired has uniform horizontal spacings, uh, but it has the same vertical spacings as the one that's just released. And because of that, the two balls are always at the same height as they are falling. So they hit the table at the same time. Now, uh, if we want to consider a, a full parabolic arc, so like a, a ball thrown up into the air and then coming back down, uh, the, all of this still applies. The uh, horizontal spacings are uh, uniform and constant. The vertical spacings uh, follow the odd rule as the ball slows into the apex and follow the odd rule as they slow back out of the apex. So 
again, uh, the slowing in and slowing out is just the same uh, for the vertical spacings as if the ball was simply thrown straight up and falls straight back down. Uh, we can uh, use some of the other rules like uh, fourth down at halftime. So here we see this um, parabolic arc and just going from the uh, apex. Uh, so here on frame nine, if we go four frames further um, at that position, it's a fourth of the way down compared to going uh, four more frames to 17. So uh, again, this is this frame here is a fourth of the way down from the apex uh, this frame to this frame. On the other hand, we can go uh, on the other side of the uh, arc. So uh, coming up, it uh, over half the time, it's going uh, three quarters of the distance. And then in the remaining half of the time, coming up to the apex, it's the remaining uh, fourth of the distance. So uh, it's probably easier just to see this than to uh, explain it. So hopefully that uh, that's clear. Uh, now, this uh, picture is a little bit distorted because we're not seeing the motion in profile. So there's a little bit of distortion due to uh, perspective. Now, we can um, account for that. So uh, if we want to do this more carefully, you see uh, the spacings that you have when uh, something goes up into the air and then comes back down. The um, fourth down at halftime would tell you that uh, these positions, which are halfway in time between the apex and these two uh, bottom positions, should be a fourth of the way down. So this is what the parabolic arc looks like uh, in perspective. Now, uh, there are some common errors that uh, animators make when they um, are uh, doing these uh, types of arcs. Uh, the most common one is to uh, make the arcs uh, too straight. So this is sort of an exaggerated uh, version here where the motion goes straight up to the apex and then straight back down. And you see, of course, the, the vertical spacings aren't really slowing into the apex or slowing out of the apex. And so um, the, uh, the shape and the timing and spacing is, uh, is incorrect. We have the, the, the correct one here on the, on the right. Here's uh, an example of a, a path of action that's uh, too straight. I don't think they were going for physical accuracy in this uh, in this uh, scene. Of course, that's what uh, that's what makes it funny. So, uh, the other most uh, common uh, error in uh, in arcs is to have the apex not in the center of the arc. So. Uh, in this case, the um, uh, the two sides of the arc are uh, parabolic, but um, they don't match uh, each other. So the left side doesn't match uh, the right side, and so we have the, the apex not in the in the center. Now, uh, one last thing: the uh, uh, the shape of the path of action could be uh, more or less correct, but that doesn't mean that the um, timing and spacing is, is correct. So uh, in this um, illustration, we see the path of action um, looks roughly like a parabolic arc. But when we check the spacings, we see that the um, 
horizontal spacings are not uh, uniform. In fact, the ball is slowing out towards the right. And the vertical spacings, which should be slowing in as the ball is rising, are actually uh, rather uniform. So um, this is an example where the uh, shape of the path of action is more or less OK, but the, the spacings are not uh, correct, or at least not physically believable. So in uh, summary, uh, when gravity is the only significant force, the path of action is a parabolic arc. Uh, for a parabolic arc uh, path of action, the horizontal spacings are constant and uniform. The vertical spacings are the same as for simple falling motion, so we can use the odd rule or fourth down at half time, which are discussed in other tutorials to uh, judge those uh, vertical spacings. The uh, two most common errors uh, in arcs is to uh, make the arc too straight uh, and to not have the uh, apex uh, centered uh, on the arc. And then finally, uh, even though it's possible to have the path of action have the correct uh, parabolic shape, it's still possible to have the timing and spacing um, be uh, physically um, uh, incorrect. So uh, it's not just the shape of the path of action, but um, also the timing and spacing. Anyway, hope that is helpful for cases where you have to have uh, something which is flying through the air.